For many residents in Stamford, Connecticut, this historic church has been a central part of the community for generations. Stepping inside the structure adorned with gold leaf, mosaic tiles, and a dome ceiling is a bit like traveling back through time. And Father George has been a part of it since the beginning. They call it the Church of the Archangels. And we built it in 1958. It's 11th century Byzantine church. The architect, W. Stuart Thompson, spent 25 years in Greece. It's the only one in the United States that's authentic. The most outstanding features are uh, Christ in the dome that has about 200,000 pieces of mosaic. In the altar is the Blessed Virgin Mary that has about 300,000 pieces of mosaic. The icons are outstanding and they're very precious and they've been there for 55 years. The original wood windows, while beautiful, had succumbed to the effects of time and were now cracked and failing in several places. The windows that were in the building when we approached it were the existing windows from the original construction of the building and over a period of time there was moisture penetration, there was air infiltration, it was not efficient, it was not comfortable and they knew that it was going to be extremely expensive to restore the windows and then they would still have a maintenance issue and then at some point they would still have to do it again. So we started with how do we recreate these old historic wonderful wood windows. The team from Marvin soon discovered that each of the nearly 80 windows would present its own challenge. Each one of these windows is unique, it's individual, there's a different glass type, different shape, a different size. There were no drawings on record, so we had to recreate details of the walls. The failing windows were removed slowly and carefully, one by one. The remaining wood casing also needed to be completely torn out, all the way down to the stone. And all the while, the church stayed open for business. People were just very concerned about the heritage and wanted to make sure that, that it did come out right. The challenge of faithfully recreating the windows fell to Marvin's Signature Products Division in War Road, Minnesota. It was a job they eagerly took to with the craftsmanship and respect for design that Marvin is known for. The solution was a one-of-a-kind new creation, an aluminum-clad round top with all-new stained glass that could tilt back in one piece into the original opening. What Marvin has done here is they've taken the existing wood window that was in this church and they've replicated it using today's technology and today's materials, while at the same time matching the look and craftsmanship of the original windows. We could meet their existing custom color and provide them a product that they would, for all intents and purposes, not have to address maintenance issues for many years to come. They used their experience and the the variety of products that they have to offer. And they kind of meshed a couple different products together to make this, this type of window. It's a mixture of a direct glaze window along with an in-sash window. So it's a combination of the two. Through the process, the uh, angel wing windows were my favorite. Those were the most challenging to replicate, but they came out great and they matched quite well. Now this cherished building has a lasting future, thanks to the combined efforts, patience, and attention to detail of an experienced team. And the church residents couldn't be happier. You could certainly feel the passion. It wasn't just a building, it was their, their place of worship. Their pride in the building came through and it was just very important for us not to disappoint them and to come through and meet their expectations. We are a very close-knit church and everybody enjoys coming to church, especially the little children. The most important thing is to take care of it. So when you come in with the new windows, that'll give it another 50 years. 